He is every parent's worst nightmare. Breaking news, we're following a major update here on the kidnapping and murder of Gretchen Harrington. Prosecutors say David Zanstra confessed to the murders during an interview one week ago. He killed this poor eight-year-old girl he knew, and then he acted as if he was a family friend, not only during her burial and the period after that, but for years. A Delaware County native who was just a child at the time of Gretchen Harrington's murder recently wrote a true crime book about the unsolved cold case. It affected both of us as kids and it affected a lot of kids our age. The defendant in this 50 year old cold case is now being looked at for his potential involvement in other unsolved cases. Police in Marple Township brought us along to a storage facility today where it is believed old records and files hold the key to some new answers. Well, it's pretty hot in our region today, that is for sure. Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly has declared next weather alert days for tomorrow all the way through Saturday. I'm a little nervous to see how hot it'll get. If you plan and you prepare and you take your precautions, you'll be fine. Health officials say if you have any senior citizens in your life, whether they're neighbors or family members, check on them and make sure they're okay. We're going to check in with the doctor. He's going to provide some tips on how to stay cool and how to stay safe with those possibly dangerous temperatures. It is going to feel like 100 degrees, and that means that your AC will be working overtime to keep you cool. Howard also said window coverings are an inexpensive way to save energy and money. Also, never leave children or pets in cars. Has someone oh checked gosh. on her? Someone needs to check she on that. She keeps running up and down the stairs. Yeah, She's lost her a, mind. If that was me, I would go down like three steps and be like, back to you. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah. From the main line to South Jersey and down the shore, we know this place by heart, and we are proud to tell our stories. CBS News Philadelphia, finding heart in every beat.